Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. All right. It's very right. hard in word. Oh, I sent yes. a message, teacher. Yes, I noted. I noted that you um are having trouble and well, not trouble, but you have some other activities at the same time. Yes, teacher. It is, for example, the different days the the at the work in implementing project, and I the I sit the meeting, but is the manager to the implement implementations. Okay. Implementation uh, of project. All right. Let's try to to structure what you said. All right. The manager. Uh huh. The manager. Is of project. Oh, the manager of project, uh huh, is sending no, is presenting the new project. Is that correct? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. The new project to implement. Implement. Right. Okay, teacher. Yeah, implement. to implement. All right. Remember, subject verb complement. Subject verb complement to establish or to structure an idea. All right. Okay, teacher. Thanks. No problem. Okay, everybody, welcome. How are you doing tonight? Hello, Isabel. Nice to see you here. Hello. I know you are always on time, and I appreciate that, Isabel. Yes, thank you very much, Isabel, for being right on time. Hello, Rosa Estela. I like your background. Okay. I like your background. You look very smart over there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hello, Marta Alicia. Welcome. Hi, Stephanie. Hello. Hi, Marta Alicia. How are you doing tonight? Nice. 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 Great. Great. So I will ask you guys from one to 10, Veronica, from one to 10, how do you feel tonight? Hello. Hello. I don't understand, please repeat. Okay, no problem. From one to 10, how do you feel tonight? I am nervous. <laughs> nervous, why yeah. nervous? Are you having a project or something new? Uh, yes. You're having an exam or something? Um, the the next um, week are... Um, I take a um, visit a medic. Oh, okay. Okay, to the doctor. Yes. All right. So next week. Next, next week, week at the end. All right. Let's try to say this trait, okay? okay? I am visiting the doctor next week. Oh, well, I think you are uh, uh, expecting some results from exams. Yes. Oh, well, yeah, that's kind of worry. That's kind of scary. But, well, we have to trust in God, right? We have to trust in God that everything is going to be okay, Veronica. All right. That's my hope to you. My best wish. All right. Okay. So calm down as much as you can. Okay. But welcome to this class, everybody. I know everybody has a very particular experience and um, we are in this class to try to communicate our ideas in two different languages. Yes, so this is fantastic, right? It's fantastic. We can communicate ourselves into languages. Imagine now you are in module two and also remember we are, well, we started yesterday, unit three, wow. Oh my goodness, you are doing a very good job, guys. You are doing a very good job. So congratulations and thank you very much for your patience and for being here. I appreciate your effort, all right? I appreciate your effort. Okay, people, today, hmm. Today we have two topics. No, it's only one topic, <laughs> but we are going to combine, to combine the two tenses. 
we learn the simple present and then we learn the present continuous. So we are going to combine this. How this work in the real life, okay? We don't always speak in the same tense, right? We are not robots, not robot. So we need to learn to combine the ideas, right? Simple present, the certain future, okay? Simple present, certain future, everything is prepared for everything um, scheduled occurs, all right? So this is what we are going to do today. And let's remember then what we started last class. Entonces, acordémonos bien de lo que vimos en la clase pasada, ¿sí? Who remembers how to form the, uh, the present continuous? Uh -huh. Who remembers? ING in the verb. Exactly. ING mm -hmm. ending, right? ING ending. All right. Mm -hmm. But it has two parts, right? It has two parts. We need to add which other verb? What is the auxiliary for the present continuous? Verb to be. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, the present continuous structure, B plus verb plus ING, okay? Present continuous. You can find it also in books like the present progressive, okay? Present progressive, because we express things that are in progress in the present, okay? It has different usages. Um, well, actually the usage of the present continuous uh, has three different area big area okay the future one form right or one meaning and we said yesterday at the same time we are speaking and that's the easiest part that's the easiest part what is kind of hmm, let's say not difficult but we maybe we do it slowly to achieve the concept of near and certain future with a present continuous. I think that's the one that we want to focus more, okay? So to start, to start, we want to uh, say, do a trivia, yeah? Play a trivia, do you want to play a trivia? All right. I'm not going to explain anything how to answer these questions. I'm not going to explain. You just say what you see. Say what you see. All right. These are complex questions, but these are from your classes. Okay. Not from anywhere else. From these classes, some questions here and there. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. All, All right. right. Good, good. Mm -hmm. So let's start by the trivia. Okay, guys, so I will say a name and then this person is going to answer. If this, is, if this person can't answer because of any dots, right, uh, then everyone is going to help. But first, let the person to think about, all right? Think about the answer, but please don't, be quiet, okay? Don't be quiet. Please say something, all right? Say something. There we go. First question. Veronica. Here. 
it today is uh, Tuesday, 24th August 2023. Everybody agrees? Teacher, uh -huh. is to the I don't remember how do you say that esas palabras no me recuerdo cómo se llaman las uniones el dad y el of all right el, linking words linking words uh -huh. eso lo faltaron ah oh, okay <laughs> it's, what about the word order the word order is Tuesday twenty fourth no here's First the day, the number of the day. The second is the this month. And luego la fecha. <laughs> okay, let's look at the next question, all right? I'm not going to explain anything at the moment. Later we do it, all right? So let's look at the next question. Uh, Samuel. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, what? My birthday is um, my twenty eight or eight or eighty. No, <laughs> is this my uh, twenty eight? All right, let's look. Saul. Yes, I do, teacher. It is the, when um, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, no problem, what? no problem. Yes. Is there anyone who knows how to say an answer with this question to this question? Tomorrow in the morning. Nice. Very good. Very good. Great. Okay, so you have one point, Rosa. Let's look at the next one. Alma, Alma, next. Mm, it's a uh, seven seven four one eight four eight five. Great, one point for Alma. Next, uh, Marta Alicia. <laughs> teacher tell me pero en ese caso eh, como es la dirección tengo que decir avenue y, y cosas no, así no. no, 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 look, look email ah, la, el correo ajá uh -huh. Y si es mi nombre, teacher. You just say, what, what's your email address? Uh, my address is marta.rivera y arroba. How do you say arroba? At. At come on, come on. El... Don't stop. Go ahead, go ahead. Com. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Do you agree, guys? Who know how to answer? What's your email address? Who knows? Quien sabe? A ver. Who knows? Okay, Alma, go ahead. Uh, la mía. Yes, please. Uh, I spell 
<laughs> it's uh, Alma H E R N at um, no, okay. Alma Yami H E R N at Gmail dot com. All right, great. Thank you very much. Only for one letter, Alma, only for one letter because it's not air, it's R, all right? But there you go, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one, next question. Right now I'm not explaining, I'm not explaining, remember, okay, later. Uh, Isabel, next one is yours, be ready, all right? Dependent to show. Hola. 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 Hello. Now we can hear you. Sí, se escucha bien. Yes. Okay. No comprendo muy bien la pregunta, teacher. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Read it. Read it, Isabel. Read. Read. A ver, Isabel, read. Um, ajá, ajá. Come on, come on. How? How much is the bus? Read in El Salvador. Ajá. How much? Uh, Depending on which route you uh, Permítame, X. 30 centavos, se me olvidado. Ok, English, English, the numbers. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, X. 0.50 cent. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. You can do it. I know that you know it. Ajá. Uh -huh. No? Okay, no. anyone who can help Isabel, okay? Let's help Isabel. A ver. 25 cents. All right. That's the micro bus, right? But the bus, it's 20 cents. My, the bus, it's yes. All right. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue. Stay, stay, hey, calm down, everybody. A ver, ahorita ustedes se sienten así como, I'm the teacher. All right. No nos dice, no nos dice. Bueno, esa es la idea ahorita, que usted le dé de banada al cerebro, ¿ok? Vamos, vamos, todos recordando, vayan a sus notas, vayan a ver cómo se dice, cómo se pone, cómo se escribe. All right, let's move, let's move to the next one. All right, Stephanie, next one will be yours, all right? Next one will be yours, so get ready. Mm -hmm. How much do they charge for a uh, week? Um, Ten dollars. I don't remember cents. 
and something. Ten dollars. Great, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Very good answer. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, let's move. Let's move. Uh, want to see um. Fernando Enrique, this is yours. Okay, the next one is yours. Ready? There we go. Uh, hi, uh, 20, 25, pero sentado, no sé cómo. Uh, 20, 25, 25 eh, centavos, no sé cómo. Cent. Ah, cent. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, again, again, go ahead. Here, um, uh, give it tortillas. Uh, no, no, sé qué más. All right, no problem, no problem. It's okay. Uh huh, uh huh. Look, uh huh. Twenty five cents, but only one uh -huh. tortilla. How many Tor tortillas do you, I mean, do they give you the for? Tortilla. Uh huh. Tell me, Samuel. This... Okay, Samuel is saying something. Let's see. Uh, three tortillas for 25 centavos. Cent Great, Samuel. Great. Okay, tenemos medio punto para Fernando y tenemos un punto para Samuel. There you go. There you go, guys. All right, vamos a ver. Vayan anotando sus puntos, después vamos a ver quién ganó. Vamos a ver. All right. Y el, y el mío, por decir, y el mío, y el que dije de, de un principio. Uh, did I say point? Si dije punto, cuéntenlo, ¿ok? Si no, vamos a ir a tener que ir a ver el video para ver si se... Ah. All right, no problem, it's okay. Let's look. Gabriela, next one is yours. Next one is yours, all right? Go on. I am um go a work no, no work no, I have to a work. All right, all right, you're close, you're close. Anyone who wants to help? Anyone who wants to help? Okay, teacher, I can help mm -hmm. Gabriela. She mm -hmm. say is usually going to the work? Or... ING or simple present? A simple present? Uh-huh, simple present, no ING, right? Uh-huh, so change it, change it. He, she say, is go. Frequency, going. frequency. Uh huh. Everybody it's, thinking. It's everybody. Usually, no, Gabriela go to the work in the morning. Go. Going. No. Oh, oh my God. Oh my goodness, no way. Uh huh, all right. Uh huh, uh huh. Usually, usually Gabriela, in the morning, in it at work. Subject verb complement, guys. Gabriela, mm -hmm. usually. What? Gabriela, uh, that. Go to the work. Go to the work. Uh huh, go to the work. Go, go, yes. yay, go, 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 go,
to work, yes. okay? Yes. Gabriela usually goes to work, all right? So Gabriela can answer, I go to work, all right? Work. Mm -hmm. You remember, usually it's right between the subject and the verb, right? I usually go to work. Y si hago una um, respuesta completa, I usually go to work every Monday morning, right? Or on Monday morning, right? On. Mm -hmm. On a Monday morning. Ajá, ya ven que nos está faltando poner en orden las palabras. Necesario, it's needed. Guys, we need to put in order the words. Next, a ver, ¿para quién va a ser the next one? Vamos, vamos. Next one is for... Ini, mini, my nemo. Okay, Helen, this is yours, all right? This one is yours. Next. Mm -hmm. And one, two, and three. Miss Helen, are you there? Is she as a listener? No, there she is. There you are, Helen. Come on. Okay. Just answer the question. Read and answer. What are you doing right now? In this moment, I receiving the class. All right. Great, Rosa. Thank you very much. Okay. Did you listen, Helen? Did you listen to your classmate? Yes? Yeah. All right, give us an answer. Give us an answer, Helen. Come on, you can do it. Listen if I'm right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm writing. Very good, I am writing. Nice, there you are. So now, who goes next? Ronaldo is next, all right? There we go. One, two, and... Okay, uh, my voice is and my boy, my boss has a meeting in the morning. Very good, very good. Just remember the article, right? But you did it great. Okay, my boss, mm -hmm. my boss has, uh -huh. has meeting a meeting. Mm -hmm. As a meeting in the morning, okay? Tomorrow morning, podemos decirlo así, mire. Tomorrow morning. Porque es lo que nos preguntaron, ¿verdad? Usemos al máximo las palabras que están en la pregunta, okay? That's the way. That's the way to put in order everything. All right. Thank you very much. Then you have a point. Rosa contó su punto, ¿verdad? El anterior. Helen, cuente su punto. All right. Count your points. Next, next is for I can't see who else. Fernando Noel, are you there? Fernando Noel? No? Ok, bye. Vamos a cambiar la dinámica en estas tres últimas, ¿sí? Y va a ser así, sorteado. El que levante la mano primero, así que le haga. Y raise your hand, le vamos a dar el chance que conteste, ¿all right? Pero no me vayan a trabar el Zoom porque todos van a contestar, ¿all right? No importa. It doesn't matter, no importa que se trabe el Zoom. Todos, ¿all right? Everybody. There we go. Next. Ay, ok, so, come on. Saúl, Saúl, you have to raise your hand. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I am uh -huh. learning English. Uh, 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 uh. No, that's not the answer. How are you doing? Okay, Ronaldo, your turn. Se me fue la idea, pero era stand up. I know. 
No, no. This is, how are you doing? Nice. I'm fine. Thanks. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, Samuel, yeah. come on. Samuel. Uh huh. Um, I, I am fine. Great, Samuel. Cuentes el punto. Isabel? Teacher, I have a question. I pay thanks. Great, Isabel. You have one point. A ver, dígame, Saul, tell me. I remember that how, how are you doing is, the, for example, the action. What is the difference on this question? Sorry, teacher. This I one. Think. How? How? That one oh, was sorry. what? Yes, what? Exactly. This is how are you doing? This is a greeting, yes, all right? This is a greeting. That one was the action, all right? Thank you. Hello, Isabel. Done? All right. A ver, vamos a tirar la otra pregunta. Everybody ready? Bajemos todas las manos. Huh? Hey, once you see, everybody is. All right. Mm -hmm. There we are. Aha. Uh -huh. Next one. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Wait, que Isabel la levantó antes que saliera la pregunta. Vamos a ver. A ver, a ver, a ver. No, teacher, no la puedo ah, bajar. Se, ah, <laughs> se quedó ahí. Ok, no hay problema, se quedó así. <laughs> All right. But, ready, everybody. Remember, the first one in raising your hand. All right? You guys ready? There it goes. Okay, Carlos Ernesto, go ahead. I need the coffee. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Complete, complete. No. I am here in the tomorrow uh, drinking to coffee. That one, that one was good. That one was good. Can you repeat it? I, I am here uh, uh -huh. in the I... tomorrow. I... No, no, I don't need... change. The first time, the first time was good. Uh huh. I drink the coffee. Uh, 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 no. uh, uh, okay. Uh huh. Remember, first, this is a direct question, right? This is a direct question. A ver, ¿quién tenía levantada la mano? Vamos a ver. Alma, uh huh. Alma? I need to work tomorrow. All right, that's good. That's good. But it's something missing. Something missing. I need to work, I need to work tomorrow. All right. Well, it sounds great too. Uh huh. I need to work tomorrow. Okay, is there anyone who has a different answer? Samuel? Hello? Uh huh. Your answer to this question? Um, um, I need uh, to um, drink coffee. Ah, okay. I need to drink coffee. All right. Uh, but you, you're saying like this or no is? Uh, no, it's nice. No, okay. In morning, in, in morning, tomorrow. Okay, it will be tomorrow morning. All right. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Bueno. Alguien más tiene otra? Nos vamos a dividir el punto, pero vamos a ver. Aha. Uh -huh. Teacher. Aha. Uh -huh. For example, I need to collect project information to send report. I need to call. To collect, to oh, to collect, collect. Mm -hmm. to collect project information to send report. That's a very good, good, very good sentence. But it's something missing. All right. Remember, in a direct, in a direct question, we need to answer yes or no. Right. Remember. Yes, there is. Remember. Yes, yes there is. is. Or, no, there isn't, all right? Yes, there is. And then I say the, the next part. I need to work 
tomorrow. Hmm? No, there isn't. All right. I don't need to do anything tomorrow. All right. There you are. So this is the way to answer. Si me hubieran contestado solo con yes, there is, okay. Si me hubieran contestado con no, there isn't, okay, perfect. Pero eh, les vamos a dar siempre el punto a los que contestaron con la respuesta completa, porque al mismo tiempo estamos utilizando you need to, okay? You need to. Entonces, les faltó esta partecita del principio, okay? Así que hay que ten ir teniendo como el cuidado para que tenga lógica su respuesta, all right? Vale, vamos a ver. Serían tres puntos aquí, ¿verdad? Sería el de, el de, uh, el de Alma, ajá, y el de Samuel, y, y el mío. <laughs> no, no, not mine, not mine. I'm not playing, all right? I'm just, <laughs> all right. Are you guys ready for the next one? Okay, I think the next one is the last one, if I'm not wrong, okay? So, are you ready? Remember to raise your hand. The first one wins, all right? Uh, but please don't, ah, it's here. Here it is. Okay, that one was the last one. That one was the last one, okay? Esa era la última, entonces. Les hacemos un bono con la primera, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer un bono con la primera. ¿Es decir, ok? A ver, todos listos a contestar la primera, ¿sí? And everybody thinking, what was the first one? Aha, uh -huh. this was the first one. Look. Aha, uh -huh. bonus, extra bonus. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, there we have Rosa Estela. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Dulce Agus, 284th. No. Tuesday, August 20, uh, Tuesday, August the 24th of 2023. What do you think, guys? Ajá, vamos a ver, aquí, ¿quién fue el segundo? ¿Fue Ronaldo fue Alma, chicos? El segundo en levantar la mano. Fue Ronaldo. Alma. Ah, fue Ronaldo. Ok, Ronaldo, second. Ajá, Ronaldo, tell us. Okay. What is the answer? Uh, what is the answer? Uh -huh. The question is what, what is what is day today? Okay. Today is uh, Thursday, uh, August uh, 24 uh, of 2023. Okay, well, mm -hmm. let's listen to Alma, okay? Let's let's give the opportunity to Alma and let's see. Mm -hmm. Today is Thursday, August the 24th of 2023. I'm sorry, guys, but Alma uh, has a point, all right? Ella sí les dijo todas las palabras como las aprendimos en clase, okay? Acuérdense, siempre hay un orden lógico para cada respuesta. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you. I'm sorry, but she got the point. Okay. Ese era extra bonus. Tenía que ser más difícil <laughs> la forma de ganarlo. Okay. Vaya, vamos a ver. Aquí okay. estamos. ¿Puedes repetir, Alma, cómo lo dijo? Okay, Alma, please, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Thursday, uh August, -huh. the... The Today plan. is, <laughs> you forgot, uh -huh. Thursday. Okay. Today is Thursday, August the 24th of 2023. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y no se escribe Daniel, ¿verdad? Es la forma completa, sí. Claro. 
¿Qué podemos decir? Claro que podemos decir August 24th, all right? Claro que lo podemos decir, como les decía yo en esa clase, ¿ok? No existe una forma universal, ¿ok? Pero existe una manera formal en donde incluimos todos los elementos, ¿verdad? De, de, de la fecha. El orden es diferente en cada región. Entonces, nosotros tenemos que asegurarnos cuál es la forma de esa región. Entonces, en el americano, en el americano normalmente decimos August 24th, ¿ok? August 24th. Y si decimos el día, lo ponemos antes, ¿sí? Ponemos acá Thursday, ¿ok? Y siempre capital letter, right? Thursday, ¿ok? Eh, Thursday, August 24th of 2023, all right? En el americano podría estar así. Y sí, ustedes lo decían así como chachajeadito sin meter un, uno que otro elemento. Pero la idea era decirlo como habíamos visto en clase. ¿Se recuerdan que esa fue la instrucción, verdad? Okay. Is everybody ready now to start the class? Yes, teacher, we are. Yes? <laughs> okay, bye. ¿Hay alguna pregunta de las preguntas que acabamos de ver? Is there any question? Any question about the questions? No questions. No questions? Okay, then. Then we are going to see that today we want to uh, learn how to combine the simple present and the present continuous. But this is a situation we need to differentiate first when we use the simple present and when we use the present continuum. Because each tense express different actions, okay? And they have different usages, all right? They have a different usage. So we need to differentiate that. Allow me just to show you that today in our class number 12, the topic is simple present versus the present continuous. Simple present versus present continuous, okay? When we describe a picture, for example, okay, when we describe a picture like this one, okay, we use the present continuous, all right? We use the simple present too. How? Let's see how this works. For example, who are those? Who are those? Oh, they are my co-workers. This is my boss, all right? This is the secretary. She is the project manager, as I said. And this is the accountant. Simple present, okay? Mm -hmm. Simple present. Now, what are they doing? Ah, they are in a meeting, all right? They are in a meeting. So we are going to say they are having a meeting, all right? They are having a meeting. That's the way to describe a picture, right? That's the way, the way to describe a picture. We can use both, right? But we need to know which data goes with each one, okay? The data to describe the physical appearance, who the people in the picture, um, who is the people, who are the people in the picture, then we're going to describe that in the simple present. But if we describe actions that are happening at the same time that they are taking the picture, all right, then we say, we describe the moment with the present continuous. This is what we need to, um, we need to, um, let's say, contrast, all right, contrast. So we need to learn uh, how to contrast the present continuous and the present simple. How to contrast? Mm. It's not that they are opposite each to the other, all right? But maybe they complement the idea, okay? Maybe you say something in the simple present and then you need to complement with a certain future. You need to complement with right now, 
okay, explanations, right? So let's look at, um, well, our agenda is what are some events that are taking place in your job this and next week. This is what I'm talking about, the simple present and the present continuous for future events, for future events, all right? We want to write an email and we want to describe activities, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to do this one, but we will try, all right? The session one-on-one -on -one tonight is for the number 12 on the list. Actually, it has moved, so I will check out. Let's discuss these two questions, okay? Let's discuss these two questions. Mm -hmm. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Mm -hmm. Who? Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? It's Rosa Polanco. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are the first in your job. Yes. Do you open the store? Do you open the office? All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. So, ah, that's a very good one. I arrive to work at to six o'clock a.m. Yeah. All right. Very early. Oh, my goodness. Stephanie, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Is it you or is it a different person? Sometimes me, sometimes co workers. Ah, right. So you schedule who arrives first. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have like a schedule. Mm -hmm. You divide the days. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. Thank you. Uh, but who is the first person then to arrive at your workplace on Monday? Stephanie? I open um, open the salon, the uh -huh. salon. and I clean work area. And okay, but when when I mean, aha, uh -huh, because you said that you have one day that you arrive early. All right, usted tiene un día que usted llega temprano antes que todos, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. When? Uh, mon Monday and Friday. Oh, all right. So you can say, I arrive first at my workplace on Monday and Friday. All right? right. There you go. Alma, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Is it you? Yes, it's Alma. Okay, yes. Alma is very Hi. good. What time? What time do you arrive to to your work to your workplace? Um, five. Ya no me recuerdo cómo decir cinco treinta. Remember, remember numbers, numbers. American English five. Thirty. Yes, 5.30 a.m. in the morning. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Juan Carlos, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Is it you or your boss? Is it you or your co-worker? Juan Carlos? Mr. Juan Carlos, are you there? Yes, Juan Carlos Galán. Eh, no, actually, that one is Carlos Ernesto, right? Uh -huh, Carlos Ernesto Galán, if I'm not wrong. Juan Carlos Gaviria. O Juan Carlos dijo que Carlos era el que llegaba temprano. No, ¿verdad? Okay. Vamos a ver entonces. Ronaldo, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Uh, who is the first person? The first person, yes. Um, sort of a question. 
Word y significa, eh, significado de word. Work. Workplace. No. Workplace. Uh -huh. The place uh, where the you field. work. Wow. 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 Uh, the word the first. Work is a verb that you work. No, teacher. Es que desconozco el, lo que significa wow. Por eso no he respondido. La ¿Cuál, primera, cuál, cuál? What is, what is the first? Esta. Who? Esta es who. Who. Mm -hmm. Who. Who. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y, y es, una es, una, es una palabra de pregunta, una question word. Ok. Que requiere la información de una persona. Ah, okay. Uh, entiendo de que... Puede ser de una o de varias personas. Mm -hmm. Who ah, is the pero... first person to arrive at your workplace? Uh, the first person to arrive at your workplace is in the morning. Again, again, again. Okay. You said the morning? No. no, the first person uh -huh. to arrive to at your workplace. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, I'm sorry. Is? Okay, is uh, uh -huh. Mitchell? Uh, like this? No, Michelle. Michelle. Ah, okay. It's a person. All right. Uh huh. Okay, Michelle. Is she? Yeah. Is she your boss? No. No. Uh, no. She is a coworker. Yeah. All right. Nice. Nice. Thank you. So I will ask you again, Ronaldo. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? At you, es que me cuesta. No, no, no. Work. Usted me tiene que dar la respuesta porque yo le estoy preguntando esta de arriba, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. yo le digo, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Okay. The first person to arrive at my workplace is Michelle. Great, Ronaldo. Yes, yes. Bye. Un consejo que le puedo dar a todos, no solo a Ronaldo, es que no nos trabemos con el significado de una, ¿ok? Tratemos de unir toda la idea y vamos a encontrar que lo que me estaban preguntando era person, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, pero first, la que llegaba primero, sí, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, tratemos de asociar, ¿ok? Tratemos de asociar, porque estas preguntas más o menos ya las conocemos. Ahora, ¿who? Si se fijan, empieza con WH. ¿Cómo se llaman estas palabras? A ver, todos, ¿cómo se llaman esas palabras? WH question. Exactly. WH question words. Las vamos a volver a ver más adelante, pero digamos las que conocemos. A ver, digamos todas las WH question well, words que why, conocemos. Why, uh -huh. why, uh -huh. Which well. Okay. Uh -huh. Which, who? Which, la que conocí ahora, who. Pero no es who, es who, who con J. Who. Who. Uh -huh. who. Okay. okay, who. Uh, where. Where. Uh -huh. where. Y una bien importante, a ver. Oh. How. 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 Uh -huh. There you are. So these are the question words. Tenemos que aprender bien bien qué información solicita con cada una de ellas, ¿verdad? Vea, la primera, what? What are we requiring? What are, are, what are we inquiring with what? Things, right? Thank you, Samuel. Yes, things. When? Cuando. A yes, but not in Spanish. Uh huh. No. When? When? Uh, time? 
time. Correct. Why? Ahí los tienen en sus notas. Ahí los tienen todos en sus notas. Miren, siempre for, busquen for en sus cuadernos for, y ahí lo van a encontrar. That, Why? For that, for that, for that, uh, for that it. Ajá, why? Ajá. For, for that, for that it uh, success. Uh, yeah. All right. Yes, that's good. That's good. But remember, reason, explanation. No, you did a very good job. Yes, Samuel. And that's the way. That's the way. I like your attitude. All right. So why? Explanations. Reasons. Okay. Reasons. Explanation. Which? Which? Options. Right. Options. Who? People, person, mm -hmm. where? Locations. Locations. Place. Places. Yes, Rosatella. What else? Addresses, right? How? Objectives, sure. No. How? Yes, very close. <laughs> uh huh. How is the way to do something? A manner, a form, a state. For example, I ask you, how are you? Okay, so is the state and the manner or the way. Okay, people, so now we refreshed that. So we are going to continue with the next question. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Teacher, mm -hmm. sorry, I have a question. Tell me. We'll call rolling in this moment but because I will, I will stay as a listener because I have an important work. Yes, you're right. Thank you very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinking about what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace, all right? Think about the first activity that you do when you get to your job. So please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, please say present. Alma y Amilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present, teacher. Okay. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Oh, yes, I remember. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Present teacher. Débora Yamilet Campos Cortés. Present teacher. Okay. You're <clears throat> tired, Debra. Fernando Enrique <sighs> Martinez Macín. Present teacher. Okay. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Okay. Gabriela Lisette Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Helen Saray Hernández Larín. Thank you. Jose Donay Mendoza Guillón. Jose Antonio Campos Rivas. Juan Carlos Gavidia Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Ronaldo Josué Guerrero Hernández. Rosa Estela Polanco García. Present teacher. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Present. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Present teacher. Verónica Beatriz Elso de Saldaña. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, teacher, people, tell me. me. No. ¿A quién? ¿A Verónica? No, a Marta Alicia. A mí. Marta Alicia. Ok, Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. All right, thank you. And I apologize. All right. Mm -hmm. Carlos Ernesto. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos Ernesto. I checked you in. Ro 
Ronaldo este, lo mencionó, pero está en llamada ahorita con un cliente. Oh, okay, okay, I imagine. Thank you. Thank you for informing Carlos. Okay, people, so now we are going to um, continue with the next question. Remember, what's the first thing you do when you arrive to your workplace? The first activity you do. Do you wash your hands? Do you go to the bathroom? Do you eat breakfast? Mm, do you make calls? What do you do? The first activity. I take the breakfast. You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, Anna. I pick up my cars to call it. All right. Mm -hmm. Helen? I check the Very good, Helen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Isabel is having trouble with the connection. All right. Well, let's listen. Gabriela, what is the first thing you do when you arrive to your workplace? I have breakfast. All right. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Juan Carlos? Mr. Gavidia, what do you do? What is the first thing you do? Como? No, no, you stand. Juan Carlos, mm -hmm. the question, the question is. This one, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Actually, I think he's having trouble too with the connection, right? All right, no problem, Juan Carlos. So let's continue with this. Uh, some of you send emails or check the emails and let's see, you have breakfast, uh, you make calls, you get or pick up the cards to, um, for the collections, for the day collections. All right, that's good. So we are going to practice a conversation with God in our manuals. I don't know if you see the manual right now. Si se mira el manual, jóvenes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, All right. Teacher. Then, listen to your teacher read the conversation. Then practice with the partner. The same, the same dynamic. All right, Ryan and Raul. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 o'clock or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. All right? There you go. Lo vamos a leer así despacito, casi que palabra por palabra, y quiero que por favor ustedes ahí, encendiendo su cámara, apagado su micrófono, turn your microphones off, y van imitando, ¿ok? Imitating. There we go. Ready? Want to see you. This activity is important. For pronunciation, accuracy, okay? So, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They 
are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 o'clock or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Is there any question so far about the pronunciation or the vocabulary in this conversation? What is Letters. Letters, cartas. Letters. Ah, okay. Tim is tema en Spanish. No, team. Team es equipo. Oh. De personas. Eh? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Any other question? Okay, then let's listen to Deborah as Ryan and Samuel as Raul. Okay, teacher. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference going be now, Jim, in San Salvador. What is all Jim doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting rooms. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing you, you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at seven o'clock or, or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick out the alerts. Okay, let's refine the pronunciation, okay? What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Everybody, please. What are what you doing are you right doing now? Doing what are doing. you doing right now? Right mm -hmm. right now. This is doing. Everybody, doing. 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 Mm -hmm. doing. Yes. Well, I am planning a video conference. Well, what? I am planning a video conference. A video conference. Okay, I am planning. I am planning. A video conference. Good. With the new team. With the new With team. The new team. With the new team. Uh -huh. Regular speed. The conference with the new team. Everybody? The conference, the conference. with the new team. 
conference with the new team. Again, please, I want to hear you. The conference with the new team. Okay, with the with the new team. Mm -hmm. Now, one second, my eyes. They are getting ready. They are getting ready. Okay, they are getting ready. 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 Okay, ahora in regular speed. They are getting ready. They are getting ready. They are getting ready. Okay. Now, um, I usually arrive. 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 Uh -huh. Este no es arrive, este es arrive. Okay. I usually arrive. I usually arrive. Uh -huh. I arrive. I arrive. Uh, arrive. I arrive. I arrive. I arrive. Okay. And notice, please, this other way to express with something that depends on something, right? We say, it depends on traffic. Esta es una frase que ustedes pueden empezar a utilizar. Vamos todos. It depends, it depends on traffic. On traffic. It depends it, it, traffic. It depends on traffic. On traffic. In regular speed. It depends on traffic. Independent traffic. Very good. Entonces, siempre que vayamos a decir que algo depende de algo, no vamos a decir depends of, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir depends on. Miren, on. Uh -huh. Depends on. And then we say whatever. The thing where it depends. Yes, right? Okay, people. Let's move to the breakout rooms. Practice the conversation and do the pair work. Oh, I Wait. didn't show you the pair work. The pair work that you have below the conversation. Okay, you have a pair work below the conversation. So here you are. Look. Mm -hmm. Look. All right. You practice the conversation and discuss. The following okay. questions, okay? Discuss, right? Discuss. ¿Qué quiere decir discuss? Escribir? No, right? ¿Qué quiere decir discuss? De hablar, discourse. To speak, exactly. To talk to the other person. And if you don't agree, then you say you... that you don't agree. Or if you agree, then you say, I agree, okay? Speaking. Okay, this is on page thirty one in your manuals, right? Before you leave to the, I'm, I'm sorry, be, before you leave, uh, allow me just to show you something, okay? Look, in the conversation, you see the words in bold, right? Ustedes tienen unas letritas ahí en negrita, words in bold. Hay que fijarse y ponerle énfasis a esas que están en negrita. 
porque esa es la estructura que estamos estudiando, ¿verdad? Estamos estudiando el presente continuo y estamos estudiando el simple present, cómo funcionan en una sola conversación, por ejemplo. ¿Qué tipo de datos podemos decir con el presente simple y qué cosas decimos con el presente continuo? So, please, take notes, all right? Notice. Uh, me sacó del Zoom por un momento. Me perdí varios minutos de la clase, pero ya pude ingresar. Okay, great. I'm so sorry you got disconnected, but now we are going to practice a conversation. Okay, Isabel? Okay. Practice the conversation with your partner and then you do the pair work. All right? You guys ready? Okay, Fernando, thank you. Mm -hmm. Just give me one second and I'm trying to uh, adding you to an, uh, another room. All right, one sec. I need to see, okay. Oh, Juan Carlos is not available. So we are going to send another person here. Fernando, lo voy a dejar en un grupo de tres. Ok. Fernando Noel. Lo voy a dejar en un grupo de tres, pero ahí usted va a quedar con buenas eh, compañeras, ¿ok? Ok, uh -huh. There you are. Ahí se dividen ustedes el trabajo. Everybody, please join your rooms. Even if you are a listener, please join your room to listen to the activity. Gabriela, tú puedes compartir la, la, la conversación. Estoy desde el teléfono. Voy a intentar. Se me descargó la compu. No, no voy a poder. No me voy sale a... en el chat la imagen. Que me voy a
no estoy compartiendo, ¿verdad? Fernando, creo que Fernando. Ahorita, ahorita voy a ver si lo puedo compartir yo, solo déjenme encontrar el documento que no. A clock or seven city is dependent independent of traffic. My fifth activity is to pick up the letters. Vaya, si querés lo hago yo con vos, Débora. Ok, si sí, gustas voy ahora a voy a hacer. Ajá. Ajá. Y vos sos Raúl. Good afternoon, okay. Raúl. What are what are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. Meeting. I see. Uh -huh, meeting room. I see. Meeting. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first uh, what's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at seven uh, I six thirty AM AM and the first thing I do is to check my emails and you well I arrive at seven o'clock or seven thirty a.m. it depends of traffic my first activity is to pick up the letters ahora si quieres con vos Samuel tu ser Ryan y yo Raúl okay Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? It is called... Vaya, la primera. Uh, who gets early? Hmm. Aquí en la primera que te está refiriendo... Uh, ¿Quién es el que sorte early? No sé si es fácil. No, y si es fácil. Vamos a ver algo. Early. Ah, temprano, sabía. Temprano. Vaya, la primera pregunta. Mm. No perdí. ¿Quién llega temprano al trabajo? Entonces, ¿cura Fernando según el texto? Mm. Ay, mm. Dios no En In inglés, please, early. Early, ok. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the people is early is Raul. Raul. Uh -huh. Yeah, Raul. Uh, Raul. The answer complete is a uh, Okay, the Raúl early at the work. I can share it usually. Okay, um, okay. question second. What is the topic Raúl? In his team, I'll respond the conference. Hmm. Yeah. Usually, uh, 
understand the question too. Vaya. Raúl, esta es la respuesta. Usually. Eh, the answer the first. La, la primera pregunta. Uh -huh. Ahí solo que se le cortó un poquito. La primera pregunta. Ra... No. ¿Quién es el que llega más temprano al trabajo? Raúl. Ah, okay, sí. Ajá, eh, eh, Raúl. Entonces, eh, yo le decía que era de Pipo, o sea, la persona, o así, ah, Raúl. Eh, Hablando de él, porque como si dice él, eh, si dice solo él, no sabemos de quién está hablando. Ajá, sería solo Raúl. Raúl usually arrive, ah, ok. Uh -huh. Arrive at 6 a.m. Ajá, corre. Uh, Estoy Usamos el complemento de la pregunta. Raúl, sí. usually get ready early, early. Ay, no puedo decir early at the workplace. Eh, la mole de la Sí, también. Discussion in the conference. Mm, quiero ver. Sería, uh, yes, uh, ready for the conference meeting. Es que está diciendo, te lo dan ahí. They are getting ready. They are getting ready. ready. No, ellos están listos, dice acá. For the conference for the meeting. Conference. Uh -huh. Que ellos están listos para la conferencia en la, en la mañana. Pero okay. entonces no dice, no dice de qué trata la conferencia. I see one time do you usually get it to your workplace. What's the first thing to, you do? Dice, I, yo pienso, eh, no. Quiero eh, ver, I see. What time do you usually get, a, get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? Mm -hmm. Hay que asociar. The association. <laughs> Volvamos a leer. Good afternoon. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Wait, I am playing a video conference. Mm -hmm. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? I saw even the message I had Discuss. What is? Discuss. Yes, it is. Ah. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email and you. Well, I arrive at 7 o'clock or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Um, the topic is the... Creo que ese es el contexto que va. Ajá, como recoger, va a recoger cartas. Teacher, uh, la activity uh, to pick up the letters. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say mm -hmm. it in Spanish? Go and get it. Go and get the letters. Go and get all the correspondence, right? Mm -hmm. Get it. T 
take it. All right? Recoger. Exactly. But I didn't want to say that in the Spanish. I, I tried, I tried, all right, to say it in English. That's good. Uh -huh. Let's try to use synonyms, all right? Mm -hmm. okay. Pero sí, es recoger. Mm -hmm. okay. Él va y recoge la correspondencia y se la lleva. Uh, okay. Okay. Es, es recoger exactly y por eso se llama pick up el carro lo es, le decimos nosotros así ¿verdad? pick up porque usted lleva cosas ahí you pick up the things alright uh, mm -hmm. uh, yo lo asociaba al carro en realidad ¿no? <laughs> uh, alright for example if I tell you um, maybe we are having a meeting right we are having a meeting but you come for me Okay, then I will tell you, you can tell me, I pick you up, pick you up, right? Te recojo, te llevo, right? I pick you up. Mm -hmm. I will ask you to pick me up, right? Pasame a traer, right? Yeah. ¿Cómo es pasame a traer? Pick me up. Pick me up. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Pick me up. O sea, pase por mí, vea. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí. Pick up es prácticamente levantar, recoger, Exacto. llevar. Uh -huh. Ok, eso no lo sabía. Ok, that's good. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, seguimos practicando hasta que se nos deje de tomar la lengua. But you have to discuss the pair work. Did you discuss? No. Below? <clears throat> Questions below the conversation. Scroll. Uh -huh. Discuss the questions. At the workplace. Mm -hmm. Is wow. He is Raúl. What is the topic Raúl and his team are discussing in the conference? que discuten en la conferencia. Algo así entiendo. ¿Me escucha? Sí. Okay. Eso creo que es como que, que discuten o cuál es el tema del que hablan de la conferencia. ¿Cuál es el topic? Y... El ten en teacher. Hello, here I am. En la primera sería eh, la primera respuesta sería así como bien específica o así como que nosotros ya sabemos que Raúl es el que llega temprano. Y que la indicación es to discuss, ¿ok? Discutirlo, ver, ¿ok? What do you think, Isabel? Who is the one who arrives earlier? What do you think, Marta? I think... Uh -huh. Eso ya lo discutimos, teacher, pero en español. <laughs> que le digo de que... Siempre es Raúl, porque menciona que él llega a las seis y la otra Entonces, persona... Entonces, ¿cómo decimos eso? Ajá. Es que eso no llamamos cómo contestar, porque al menos eh, Isabel... Ah, como, agarr um, como agarrando siempre lo que dice escrito, guiándonos con eso. Exactly. Look at your chat. 
Look at the chat. Uh, como por ejemplo, uh, um, Raúl, uh, Raúl usually arrive. Uh, usually arrive to work. Uh -huh. Y la hora. Uh -huh. At uh, six uh, uh, thirty a.m. Exactly, that's correct. Uh huh. Luego la siguiente. Esto que um, la discusión sería the conference, the plan with the team in. San Salvador. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The, the new team, remember? The new team. The new team. Uh -huh. What do you think they can um, discuss in a conference with new people in the company? Sorry, teacher, repeat, please. What do you think the conference is about with new people in the company? Mm. In the meeting mm -hmm. room. Mm -hmm. What's the topic? Tema. What is the topic? Our tema. I'm sorry, Marta. Uh, Check um, emails. Check para los correos. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are going to assign the users and passwords, right? Mm -hmm. That will be a good one. Mm -hmm. Assigning users and passwords, right? Mm -hmm. There you are. Mm -hmm. Mating. Yes, for the emails, right? Mm -hmm. No, meetings, reuniones, meetings, meetings. ¿Y qué es lo que normalmente hablamos de reuniones, digamos? ¿Qué le diría usted al nuevo equipo? Se nos fue Marta otra vez. Sí, ya se me fue varias veces. Hay que amarrarla. <laughs> we have to tie her up here. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, and she's not connected. Creo que las tormentas está... Está como... serio, sí, porque en otro lado, quizás en lo alto, ¿verdad? En la montaña. Y nos está afectando las antenas, quizás. Uh -huh. Aquí tiene varias noches de estar así. Bueno, ahora todo el día, yo veo. Aquí estuvo bien nublado, llovió un rato, pero de ahí se calmó. Ahorita está calmado. Uh -huh. Oh, there she is. She's coming back. Y se suponía también que ellos nos iban a suspender la luz toda la noche desde las seis. Ya casi le pedía permiso, pero por las tormentas no trabajaron los del sur, así que no la suspendieron. Oh, my goodness. Iba a estar en oscuro recibiendo clases. Híjole. Okay. Sorry. Hello, Marta Alicia, no problem. I know, maybe it's the connection, right? Okay, we were talking about what, what is the meeting about? ¿De qué sería esa reunión? Imagínese usted con gente nueva. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué, ¿Qué temas se tocan? What topics do you talk about? Como dar las, indica las indicaciones de cómo se trabaja. Exactly, instructions. Mm -hmm. Instructions. Mm -hmm. Instructions. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Ahí les pongo yo todo lo que voy diciendo en el chat. Miren, todo, okay. todo lo voy poniendo ahí en el chat para que ahí lo agarre. Teacher, pero como a mí me saca, se borra lo, lo que lo que pongo. Oh. Porque sí. llevando veces que me voy saliendo de la sala. Okay. That's there you are. Mm -hmm. 
instructions, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, y ese que ya puso también podría aplicar ahí the new ten activities obligatorios. Obligations. Obligations. Have to. What they have to do, what they need to do, right? Obligations. También aplica ahí, ¿verdad? Yes, of course. The, yes, the policies. Uh -huh. Policies. You see? Policies. I'm sorry? Los valores de la empresa. Yes, values. Uh -huh. Values. Uh -huh. And they are talking about something, right? Punctuality. Yeah. There you are, punctuality. Yes? Okay, then, guys, let's go to the main room. Let's go to the main room. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Now, um, what did you discuss in the question number one? Uh, let's listen to Deborah first. What do you think uh, about the question number one? The question one, mm -hmm. uh, uh, who gets early at the workplace? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how do you say respuesta, teacher? Answer. Answer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Raul gets early. Okay. But I think that Ryan gets early too, right? Ryan gets very early because it's 7 and 7.30. Okay. But who gets early air? Early air, right? Mm hmm Early air, más early temprano, air. ¿ok? Esto es el superlativo de esto. Esto es temprano. Earlier es más temprano, ¿ya? Yeah? Early, earlier. Early, teacher, earlier. Early, early, temprano. Mm -hmm. Early, er, más temprano. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So, who gets earlier? Who gets earlier? Raul gets earlier, all right? Raul gets earlier. What about you, Alma? What did you, uh, I mean, what do you think? Repeat question, please. What do you think about who is the one who gets earlier to the workplace? Uh, is Raul. Okay, tell me what you answered. Uh, Raul usually arrives 6.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. So is that earlier than Ryan? Yes, it's earlier, right? Okay, let's look at Ronaldo. What do you think? The same question. The same. Okay, the same, like which one? This one or this one? The first or the second one? Ah, the first. The ah, first. The, sorry, the, 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 second, the second. The second. All right, all right. Fernando Enrique, what do you think? Who gets earlier to the workplace? Mm -hmm. The first, la segunda, perdón, me dijo la primera. The first one. Uh -huh. The first one, uh -huh. okay. Uh, the first is the person to arrive at the work is Raul.
Great. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Vale, hay una manera bien fácil de contestar la pregunta who. ¿Ok? La pregunta who. En este caso, me están preguntando who is, ¿verdad? Veamos. Dice, ah, no, perdón. Dice who gets. ¿Ok? Dependiendo del verbo con que me preguntan, si es con el verbo to be, respondo con el verbo to be. Si es con cualquier otro verbo diferente de be, me fijo en el tiempo verbal. En este caso, gets, ¿está en qué tiempo? ¿Está en el presente continuo o en el presente simple? Gets. En presente simple. Ok, the simple present, right? Yes. Entonces, vamos a decir, ¿sí? Where are we? Here I am. Uh -huh. Si me preguntan who gets, I'm sorry. Ajá, uh -huh. etcétera. And then, yo contesto bien fácil así. Miren, Raúl does. Ok, Raúl does. Esta es una manera de contestar la pregunta who. Porque no tiene ningún do, no tiene nada acá, ¿verdad? Directamente va de who al verbo, ¿sí? Entonces, el objeto de esta acción es Raúl y esto es lo que estamos buscando, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a decir Raúl does. Ahora yo les preguntaría, who um, pick up the letters? Who pick up the letters? Uh -huh. Ryan, Ryan does. Exactly. Ryan does. There you are. This is a very easy way to answer, and it is a short answer. But it is okay if you answer with a complete answer, a full answer. Okay? My tip, answer with both. Okay? With both. Right. Raul does. Raul gets earlier. Raul usually arrives at 6 30 p.m. I'm sorry, a.m. The first person to arrive is Raul. So you can decide what way to answer you are going to stink. Pero sí, elijan una manera y permanezcan en esa manera a modo que la vayan eh, dominando, ¿verdad? Dominando. Ustedes practiquen una, practiquen la otra. Cuando les pregunten who, Usted practique una, practique la otra, practique la otra y esta otra, ¿ok? Hay diferentes maneras de contestar siempre. Pero lo normal y general es que con las WH questions vamos a contestar con una respuesta larga de información. Ok, people, remember subject, verb, and complement. Entonces, vamos a ver así rapidito. Vamos a ver así rapidito que para el presente... Para el tiempo presente simple, nosotros usamos unas expresiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué expresiones de tiempo usamos con el presente simple? A ver. ¿Qué expresiones usamos con el presente simple? Vamos a ir y verlas aquí. ¿Sí? A ver, a ver. Las tenemos un poquito arriba. Tenemos expresiones de tiempo. Time expressions. Podemos usar estas, ¿verdad? Vamos a ponerlas acá. Para que las recordemos. ¿Ok? In the morning, in the afternoon. Exactly. Time expressions. Tenemos every day, tenemos early, late, y tenemos muchas expresiones de tiempo que comienzan con in, at y con on. Tenemos in the morning, at noon, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, at midnight. Tenemos estas otras. Okay? At three o'clock, in November, in the next century, on Independence Day, on my, my birthday, at sunset, at the moment. Okay. But look at this. These time expressions are for the simple present. All right? For the simple present. It, this is not only for the simple present, but it is characteristic for uh, of the simple present. We use the simple present to 
talk about routine day. I'm sorry, routinary activities, okay, or daily activities. I want to show you something in the manual. And let's read this grammar spot. All right. This grammar spot says that uh, the two different tenses, right? The two different tenses. So we have in this table when or how to use, okay, how to use the simple present and the present continuous. Let's look at the simple present. We use simple present for general information, routine activities, facts, things that never change, okay, daily activities. A ver, Helen, please read this box. Esta primera, este primer cuadrito, a ver. We use a simple present for general information, routine activities. Thank you very much. Y tenemos otro uso. We have a different usage for the present continuous, okay? And it says, we use present continuous for ongoing actions at the time of speaking, at the time of speaking, or for future events too, okay? So let's listen to Fernando Noel. Please read this box. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. the, the number one. Mm -hmm. I check my email. No, no, this one. Every we use. Ah, okay. We use present continuous for ongoing mm -hmm. action at the time of speaking. Correct. So, at the time of speaking, at the time of speaking. All right, then, in this very moment, right? So let's read. Number one, number one, everybody, please. I check my email every morning. I check, I check, my, check my email check every, morning. every morning. This is simple present, right? He writes report about meeting. He writes report, write report, report about, about meeting. meeting. And this case, about the meeting or about a meeting, all right? And simple okay. present, right? She audits inventories. Mm -hmm. She audits inventories. Okay, simple present, right? They arrange meetings. They, they arrange, arrange meetings. Simple present. Now let's see the things that are happening at the same time that we are talking or speaking. I am planning a video conference. I am planning a video conference. Everybody? I am, I am, I am planning, 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 planning a video conference. They are getting the documents ready. They are getting the documents She is editing the information. She is editing the information. Mm -hmm. The secretary is making a phone call. This is the secretary. Call. Okay, then we need to know something. Routinary activities, simple present. Daily activities, simple present. Obligations, simple present. Okay, things that never change, simple present. What about the present continuous? Present. We use present. Yes, it's in the present, right? But we use the present continuous when? Action at the time of. Exactly, at the time of speaking. At the very moment. So, ¿cómo vamos a diferenciar el uno del otro? O ¿cómo eh, vamos a diferenciar también las, que, las actividades del presente continuo eh, que están pasando en el momento que estamos hablando o las a futuro, ¿verdad? Porque este ya sería el segundo uso del presente continuo. Las cosas que están pasando ahorita y las de future events. Entonces, ¿cómo lo vamos a diferenciar? Vámonos a las time expressions, ¿ok? Las time expressions les van a dar la clave para diferenciar. Si no hay time expression, va a ser al significado simple. Siempre al significado simple. Es decir, al, al más común. ¿Ok? Usted puede hacer las preguntas que usted quiera necesarias. Ok. Vamos a ver entonces. 
Veamos y completemos estas oraciones. Complete the sentences in present continuous. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver cómo hacemos para convertir un verbo en ing o en presente continuo. Vamos a ver. Así rapidito. Veamos I... el primer ejemplo. Uh -huh. Thomas Print out. Uh, is printing, printing the, contract. the contract. Aquí le falta out, ¿ok? Thomas is printing out the contract. Vamos a ver en la número dos cómo sería. A ver. Sherry is meeting. meeting. Exactly. Vamos a ver en este otro. He of everything. He, uh -huh. he is care. He is he taking care. Exactly. He is taking care of everything. I claim. I, yeah, I, I am paying, right? I am paying attention. I am paying attention. Number five. She is preparing. Preparing. Okay, she is preparing. She is preparing. Okay. She's preparing. They are sending. Sending the product. Okay. They are sending the product to the warehouse. Okay, veamos entonces. Mm, Thomas is printing out the contract. Right now? Yeah, maybe. Or later, right? Later. But not today, not um, every morning, right? Is printing the contract every morning? Mm -mm. Is printing the contract every day? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, Thomas is printing out the contract right now. Okay. <laughs> At the moment. All right. Or tomorrow, future event. Tomorrow. Right. So we are going to differentiate the present continuous and the simple present with the time expressions. And also with the kind of activities we are talking about. Okay. If they are routine activities, simple present. If they are activities that are um, happening at the same time I'm speaking, then we will use the present continuous. Are we okay so far? Yes. I do. All right, people. So time is up. So we are going to stop right here. I will call the attendant, so please everybody turn your camera on. Alma y Amilet Hernández de Vázquez. Here, teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Is here. Oh, okay. I hope you are better, all right? Deborah Yamilet Campos Cortez. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique Martinez Macín. Present teacher. Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Present teacher. Gabriela Lisette Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Helen Saray <laughs> Hernández Larín. José Antonio Campos Rivas. Juan Carlos Gavidia Alfaro. María Isabel Guevara. Present teacher. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Ronaldo Josué Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher. Rosa Estela Polanco García. Present teacher. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Present. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Present teacher. Veronica Beatriz Elso de Saldaña. Present teacher. Okay, people. So now we are done for, to, for today and the session one-on-one. -on -one. 
A ver, ¿quién se quiere quedar? Porque sería, le tocaría, a ver, a ver, a ver. Era el 12, ¿verdad? Ayer tuvimos a Saúl que se quedó, ¿ok? Uh, luego tenemos dos que no han tenido eh, ningún turno. Vamos a ver, Stephanie Magali, ¿quisiera quedarse usted? Not today. Ok, Verónica Beatriz. Not today, teacher. Not today either. Well, I think it's not a, a problem, but que conste <laughs> que les ofrecí ahora a todos, ¿verdad? Vaya, digan ahí en el video. La teacher nos ofreció quedar en la sesión uno a uno. Ok, no, vaya, vamos a ver entonces. Uh, if no one wants to stay, it's ok. No tengan pena de decirme si se quieren repetir, no hay problema. Ok. Session one on one a la una. Session one on one a las dos. Session one on one. A las tres, ok. Oh, ok, Marta Alicia, there you are. ¿Sí se quiere quedar? Yes, teacher. Ok, yay, very good. So, goodbye, everybody. Do and submit your homework, all right? Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Okay, Marta Alicia, here we are. Tell me, how can I assist you today? Eh, teacher, no comprendo la diferencia del presente continuo. La verdad no me queda muy claro. Okay, el presente continuo lo vamos a usar cuando nosotros estemos diciendo cosas que están pasando en el momento que estamos hablando. Por ejemplo, ahorita, right now, o en este mismo momento. At the moment, ¿verdad? Entonces, también nos sirve porque tiene dos usos. Bueno, tiene más, pero ahorita hemos visto nada más dos usos para evento futuro, pero que de verdad va a suceder. O sea, como que ya está todo arreglado para que esa acción suceda. Ahí usamos el eh, presente continuo. Pero el presente simple lo usamos solo para actividades de rutina diaria, por ejemplo. Cosas que nunca cambian. Eh, los hechos científicos, ¿verdad? Que no, nunca cambian. Eh, obligaciones. Eh, todo ese tipo de actividades que hemos visto desde la unidad 1. ¿Ok? Ahí usted va a usar presente simple en ese tipo de actividades. ¿Ok? Y va a usar el presente continuo cuando hable de cosas que están pasando ahorita. Ejemplos. Let's do some examples. Right? Let's do some examples. Planes. Metas o proyectos a largo plazo es presente simple. Mm, no. Sí y no. O sea, sí, pero, mm, por ejemplo, en ese tipo de planes serían como objetivos, ¿verdad? Como objetivos. Y sí, en eso se utiliza el presente simple, pero como un imperativo, ¿verdad? Como un imperativo. Por ejemplo, no pongo... ¿Quién realiza la acción, verdad, en esas metas y en esas cosas? Pero sí se usa el presente, sí. ¿Ok? Ahora, en hablar normal, como nosotros, o comunicación, ¿verdad? En el presente simple, permítame, usted va a utilizar... Actividades normales diarias, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, I take a shower. Every day. ¿Sí? Ahora, si yo digo, I am taking a shower, I am taking a shower, tendría que ser ahorita, ¿ok? Right now. En el momento que yo estoy hablando, digamos, alguien me llama, a ver, no estoy, I'm taking a shower right now, all right? In the very moment, I'm taking a shower, ¿ok? Pero si yo digo que es una actividad que yo hago normalmente en mi rutina diaria, voy a decir, I take a shower every day. No lo estoy haciendo en el momento, ¿sí? 
O, por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, I am taking a hot shower tomorrow. Ok, mañana me voy a deleitar yo tomándome eh, un baño, pero así caliente, sabroso. ¿Pero cuándo? Tomorrow. Entonces, ahí utilizo, I am taking a hot shower tomorrow. Ya está todo listo, ok. Yo tengo el baño que tiene para dar el agua caliente, va a haber agua, yo sé, o sea, todo está 100% seguro que eso va a suceder el día de mañana. Entonces, uso el presente Continuo, okay? ¿ok? A ver, digamos una actividad que usted hace en su daily routine. What do you do every day? What do you do every day? Uh, I am listening to music. Ok, I listen to music. Ahí serían actividades de rutina, ¿verdad? I listen to music in the morning, for example, ¿sí? I listen to music mm, in my car. ¿Okay? Es algo que yo tengo como costumbre, ¿sí? Como es una rutina que yo siempre hago, ¿sí? I listen to music. Usted me dice en dónde. All right. Vamos a ver otra actividad. Another activity that you do every day. I drink tea. Very good. I drink tea. Mm -hmm. That's a habit. Eso es un hábito, ¿verdad? I drink tea. So, simple present. I, puedo decir la frecuencia con que lo hago, ¿sí? I always drink tea. ¿Sí? Y todavía le puedo aumentar y decir for breakfast. ¿Ok? Esto es el presente simple, ¿sí? Entonces, I drink tea. Vamos a ver otra actividad que haga rutinariamente. What is your daily routine? What is your daily routine? Mm -hmm. I wake up. I get up. Mm -hmm. I get dressed. Bueno, pero primero me baño, ¿verdad? I take a shower, no me voy a vestir sin bañarme, ya, yeah. I take a shower. Y vemos que son actividades que usted hace todos los días rutinariamente. I wake up, I get up, I take a shower, I get dressed. Uh -huh. Pero si usted, si yo le pregunto, what is your daily routine? I am waking up, no entra, ¿ok? No se puede decir así, se tiene que decir I wake up, ¿ok? Okay. I get dressed. Después, ¿qué hacemos? After getting dressed, mm -hmm. I have breakfast. Is it okay? Okay. Uh -huh. After you have breakfast, I go to work. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. Okay. I prepare documents in my job, right? Good. So, si se fija, todos estos verbos son en present simple. Ahora, si yo le digo, I am having breakfast right now. Eso está pasando al momento que yo estoy hablando. Ahorita tengo aquí mi plato, es la mañana y yo estoy desayunando, right? I am having breakfast right now. Como de diferenciarlo siempre sería también el ING. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The to be plus the ING. Mm -hmm. Eso es si lo lee, si lo escucha. Pero si usted lo tiene que decir, ¿cómo lo va a diferenciar? Si solo lo escucha. Por el right, uh -huh. por el right now. Ajá, por el ING y por el verbo be, porque esa es la estructura, ¿verdad? Se lo va a diferenciar. Pero ¿y a la hora de decir la actividad? ¿Cómo lo diferenciamos? Una de las cosas que nos ayuda a diferenciarlo son las time expressions. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Y el verbo Sí, claro que sí. 
Esto también. Ajá. Pero me refiero a que, por ejemplo, usted quiere decir algo que está pasando en el momento y usted lo quiere decir, usted no va a ir a decir, I have breakfast, porque no entra, no conjuga. Si está pasando en el momento que usted está hablando, entonces tiene que decir, I am having breakfast. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, yo le digo, Marta Alicia, come on. ¿Ok? Marta Alicia, come on. I am having breakfast right now. So I can't go, right? Uh -huh. Usted me dice, I am having breakfast right now. Estoy comiendo, hombre, no me llamen, ¿sí? <ríe> okay. Ahí es como usted va a diferenciar. Si es una cosa rutinaria, por ejemplo, me preguntan, what do you do every day? O si usted quiere decirle a alguien las cosas que usted hace, sus obligaciones, right? Usted va a usar el simple, el presente simple, ¿sí? Ok, teacher. All right. Ok, vamos a ver entonces algo así rapidito. Para que le... Le aclare un poquito más. Vaya, vamos a ver acá. Tenemos la tarea. No sé si ya la hizo la tarea. Vale. Vamos a, a, a compartir, ¿sí? Y hagamos la tarea juntas. Vaya, vale, entonces hagámosla juntas ahorita. Para que usted le agarre okay. saborcito, ¿ok? Vaya, vale, vamos a ver acá. Mira. It says, instructions. Choose the correct alternative. Veamos, la primera. ¿Es presente simple o es presente continuo? Veamos. She's drinking coffee with her boss tomorrow. Veamos las variables. Tiene el verbo to be. Tiene el ing. Presente. Dígame, no hay problema, Marta Alicia. Démosle. Uh -huh. Continuos. Exacto. Ahora dígame usted por qué lo diferencia. O el verbo to be. Y por eh, la time expression. Time expression. ING, ¿verdad? B, ING, time expression. All right. Number two. Esa está confusa, teacher. ¿Por qué? A ver, ¿tiene el verbo be? Eh... No. Si no está el verbo be, no es presente continuo. Tiene que estar sí. el verbo be con el ing para que sea continuo. ¿Ok? Sí, porque ing. Entonces, hay un ing, es... hay un ing, pero habíamos dicho antes, a ver, en, en algún video por ahí atrás lo va a encontrar, que cuando usamos el verbo like, tenemos que usar un ing después de ese verbo. Por ejemplo, ¿se acuerda que hablábamos de what do you like doing in your free time? ¿Sí se acuerda de esas actividades de tiempo libre? Entonces, ahí decíamos que después de like, teníamos que usar un ing. Pero no es el presente continuo. Ese es presente simple. Mire, like es el verbo principal. ¿Sí? Like, me gusta. Me gusta. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Entonces es? Simple present. Yes, simple present. Muy bien, Marta Alicia. Vamos a ver number three. My sister loves playing chess. Uh -huh. Se parece a esta, ¿vea? Es, sí, es simple present. Yes. Correct, Marta Alicia. Yes. Number four. They are swimming now. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. What about number five? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Is simple present teacher. Veamos qué elementos hay ahí. Vamos a ver. Hay un ING. Uh -huh. 
y hay un verbo be. Es una pregunta. Esto es como que yo le pregunte a usted, ¿y qué estás haciendo? ¿Ok? What are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Sí? What are you doing? ¿Qué está usted haciendo? Ajá. A ver, tenemos el B y tenemos ING. Entonces es... Present continuo. Exactly. Así mero es. Uh -huh. Vaya, ya vimos diferentes formas, ¿verdad? Verbo B, ING. ¿Sí? Si aquí no había verbo be, pero hay ing, no es, ¿ok? No es presente continuo. Me fijo entonces en el verbo principal, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Más o menos, ¿verdad? Pero ya mañana vamos a seguir haciendo ejercicios, ¿ok? Mañana seguimos porque todavía vemos el presente continuo mañana, ¿ok? Ok. There you are. Ahí ya tiene chance para que ya la hicimos. Mire, pero ahí solo le da usted submit a la suya. Ok. Ok, Marta Alicia. Well, um, I think everything is clear, right? What do you think? Clear? ¿Está un poquito más claro? Sí. Ok, bueno. Poquito, ¿verdad? Pero ahí vamos. Mañana seguimos. All right. Have a very yes. good night, Marta Alicia. Yes. All right.